I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of uh, creating multiple classes for shipping for WooCommerce so that not only you can have free shipping, but you can also have different classes of shipping for different products. You might have one that you want free. You might want to have something that's small, medium, large, etc. To do that, first you've got to set up the shipping classes. So first we're going to go to products and then shipping classes. As you can see here, I've already set up three different classes. I'll going to pick one and edit it so that you can see what it looks like when you add the different classes. Now I just went something simple, large, medium, and small. So here it is, large, medium, small. These are just the classes that we're setting up. We're not actually putting price to these yet. We've also included descriptions so that later on if someone needs to go back and look at what those different shipping classes are, they know what they're for. Now we're going to go to WooCommerce to settings. And under settings, we're going to go to the shipping tab. In the shipping tab, you'll notice here that I've got just the flat rate is status is uh, selected as on. The rest of these, I just left them alone because it gets a little, it, it, I didn't want to bother with having a whole bunch of different classes. This way, with just having a flat rate, and you'll see using the different shipping classes, I kind of take out some of the additional options that weren't really necessary. So I'm going to click on flat rate. Under flat rate here, you can see that it is selected. That's why I had the purple check mark on the front page. And then if you go down here, I can add these shipping costs. I can uh, look at the shipping classes themselves, and this is where I'm going to put in the different costs for each of the shipping classes. I can even add handling fees additional to that if I want to, but I'm just going to make it nice and simple. 25 for the large item, 15 for the small. Save the changes, and I'm good. To see what that's going to look like when you go to the different products, we're going to look at those. And the product that I'm going to use to show how I've done that it's going to be the one with the cross and wings and this just gave me a good way to uh, illustrate using those different shipping classes because the folks that run or have the products for this website have three different major size differences for their product so then I'm going to go to that product I'm going to click on edit this is a variable, pro variable product so I can look at the different shipping classes right now I've just got under no ship but if you look at look at the individual variations you can expand each individual one of these things and bring it down. And it's kind of hard to see here, but if you go to the small item, medium item, large item, this is the small one. So this one's selected as small for shipping class. This one I've got a medium. And of course, the last one, the largest one, at large. Make sure you save your changes before you go anywhere. Click on, in this case, we're going to just click on update. It's not really necessary, but just to make sure you get into the habit because sometimes you'll make these changes, and if you don't click update, you'll lose all those changes. Now that we've updated it, we're going to look at the product itself. And then we're going to scroll down, and we're going to see then these different sizes. I'm just going to pick two of them to show you what happens. All right, you may or may not have the Woo Cart widget plug-in. If you do, you can see already the uh, individual items that have been added. I like this particular widget. Uh, it also, it just got updated so that if there's zero items it won't show up. So you can leave it as a persistent piece of software left in place uh, without having to worry about it showing up when you don't want it to show up, such as when someone just lands on your page. So here, let's change this to one so that way we can do some easy math. We're gonna update the cart. Okay, so if you remember, the medium was a $20 charge for shipping and handling, and the large was $25 shipping and handling. So you add those two up, you get $45. And if earlier I added a free shipped item because it didn't have a class associated with it, it automatically goes to that first class. If you remember, it was all other classes is $0. So here it is. It's got the three different items with the two shipping rates added to each other. And then the one free shipping item for $85 is not included, and in, there's no shipping included with that. So it's still $45 despite having the three items. That's about it. I know that was a little quick. If you have questions, please hit them at below.